There are a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! video games out there. Some use the cards, others use dice or capsules, and most of them have a way to beat them, and some don't. But this game has one objective, and that is to watch the world burn. Everything in this video guide is explained in detail in the Google Sheet attached, so be sure to check that out in the description. Our journey starts out in Grandpa's card shop, where you need to buy a starter deck before you can start playing in duels. I would hold off on buying packs though, because on Wednesdays Grandpa's going to get more inventory and you'll have much more packs to buy. Walking into the edges of a zone reveals that there are four areas. Home, which is where you sleep and progress time, the card shop where you can buy packs or singles, and then there's the Colosseum and KC Tower where you're able to enter tournaments. There are numerous NPCs walking around which you can talk to by pressing A or duel by pressing the R button for some extra money, but these duels don't necessarily help you beat the game. You need to play in tournaments in order to unlock bigger tournaments and eventually reach your goal of winning the national championships. The game follows a weekly schedule, and there is one tournament held each week, which you can enter anytime Monday through Friday, and will take place over the very next weekend. The scrolling banner at the top of the screen will inform you which tournament is going on that week, so you don't need to physically check the sign-up tables every day. Each tournament has its own number of rounds, potential opponents, and duel rewards, which are documented in the Google Sheet mentioned earlier. The KC Cup and Limitation tournaments are 7 weeks long, so needless to say, there is naturally going to be a lot of sleeping over the course of a normal playthrough, which may feel weird, but trust me is how you're going to beat the game. While there is nothing going on the first week, starting with the second week you can start to enter weekend tournaments that will go on for 7 weeks in a row before a larger tournament appears. You need to win at least one weekend tournament before the KC Cup appears and participate in four tournaments total in order to get the limitation tournament to appear. Winning these three tournaments will give you the three trophies you need in order to qualify for the national championship. The championships will appear as the preliminary championships and is only a four round grind that represents regionals and nationals in order to become national champion. After winning the national championship, you are then forced to watch an oddly laggy credit sequence and then shown your card completion percentage. Afterward, you are congratulated by the cast and informed that Yami Bakura and Merrick are back at it again with the Shadow Games. So congratulations, you did it. Up to this point, you should have at least four trophies, which if you didn't know can be viewed inside the big red cabinet inside your room, although keep in mind that it will glitch out your win score because it wouldn't be a Konami game if things weren't randomly broken. While you only need four trophies, there are actually three more trophies that you can obtain. Two of them can be obtained before the national championship, but are completely optional for becoming champion. The first being the Sugu, Sugu, the Grandpa Tournament, which requires you to win seven duels inside of the card shop and will let you enter a small three round tournament where you duel Grandpa in the final round. The other optional trophy you can obtain is the Q's of K trophy and requires you to have won the KC Cup wait a week and then visit Kaiba inside of the KC Tower every Friday for 7 weeks in order to complete his 7 puzzles. After completing the 7th one, he will present you a trophy and allow you to skip to the finals of every KC Cup, making it a best of 3 game with a 10,000 DP reward. Not bad for some quick cash. The last trophy you can obtain only after becoming champion and is obtained in the newly unlocked area on the map. This represents the Shadow World and has its own set of NPCs such as all the rare hunters, Yami Bakura, Merrick, 
Snake. Snake! Snake! While there is nothing to do the first two weeks you're here, eventually a tournament announcer will appear inside and allow you to enter a survival ship match for an entry fee of 8,000 DP. This is a 7 round tournament in which you duel from a pool of rare hunters, Yami Bakura, or Merrick, and your life points carry over from game to game. Once you beat this tournament and obtain the trophy, there is a new card shop that is unlocked in the Shadow World and appears every day except for Saturday and has its own specialty packs that they carry. While you can collect them in any order, whenever you obtain your 7th trophy, you are once again forced to watch the credits but this time with a special graphic at the end to reward your hard work. And so yeah, that's how you beat Seven Trials to Glory twice, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and maybe I can help you out. And be sure to subscribe so that I can keep spreading the good word that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy Advance.